And Department of Health data reveals 12 confirmed active cases of COVID-19's Omicron variant on Oahu. Despite the nearly 30 mutations to spike proteins on the original COVID virus, epidemiologists say Omicron is not known to create as serious an illness as the original. KITV4's Aaron Coogan has been looking into the evolving mutations and shares whether there should be cause for concern. Aaron. Well, Rick, researchers who study infectious disease tell me evolution of the COVID-19 virus was predictable as all viruses mutate, but the changes to the virus don't necessarily mean it's getting stronger or more dangerous. With more than 30,000 nucleic identifiers that make up COVID's genetic code, mutations within that biological sequence are what lead to the variants we know today. So viruses mutate all the time. Actually, every time the virus jumps from one person to another person is an opportunity for that virus to mutate. The Hawaii Department of Health has identified only nine different COVID-19 variants significant enough to monitor and record in its periodic variant reports. Epidemiologists say that is just a small fraction of the variety known around the world. We really don't pay attention or frankly care about them that much unless it's a variant that could make it more transmissible, more deadly, or evade vaccines. The focus has been on Delta and the more recently identified Omicron variant. Those two have transitioned from being classified as ones to be monitored to the more urgent list of variants of concern. And epidemiologists say with good reason. You still may get catch Omicron and at a much higher rate than you would say Delta or one of the original viruses. There's been some studies that have shown sometimes 20 times more likely. Another study showed sometimes 40 times more likely. Still, epidemiologists say despite concerns of increased transmissibility, if COVID-19 is to follow the typical course of virus evolution, we could expect a less deadly virus in the near future. Now, epidemiologists want to emphasize that this is not to say mutations are the answer to our problems either. They say variants remain of great concern because of their potential to change the effectiveness of current vaccines. Dr. Schaefer says until we see increased accessibility and acceptance of vaccines worldwide, the lifespan of the pandemic will be prolonged. Aaron Coogan, KITV4, Island News.